seem to have a uh, special connection with uh, Von Flagler. You know, y'all hooked up for about six touchdowns a game, it seems like. Can you just talk about the chemistry yeah. you have with him on the field? <laughs> yeah, you know, but, you know, it's just, you know, Booby does a lot of things good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's just, I just know, I just know, you know, by watching him run routes, you know, when he runs on the scout team, or just by watching what he does, it's just like, you know, I feel like that he knows how to get open. And that's, that's what you want as, as a receiver. And I just feel like he gets open all the time, and I feel like we have good chemistry. How serious of a contender is this team to take home a championship? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, since we started the season, you know, Coach Reese, Coach Snyder, you know, all the, the players, we've talked about championship or bust. If we don't win a championship, then this, this season is, isn't a success. People talk about the fans coming out of the playoffs, and that's all nice, but uh, Unless they have a ring, when it's all said and done, then I'll look at this, this season as, as, a, as a disappointment. Like I asked Dante earlier, three and four at one point, made the adjustments you needed to. Just talk about as, a, as an offense and as an organization to do that for you guys. Well, well, we got a quarterback, as you all know. We didn't have a quarterback. You know, I thought that I was going to have to get back there and play quarterback <laughs> at one point in time. But now we got a quarterback. Things are looking good ever since he's come in. He's done about 50 touchdowns in like six or seven games. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Nate, you overthrew the ball the other week. He, or he didn't catch the ball that you threw him the other week. Can you just tell us about that? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I'm going to put it out there. It was a bad ball. I, I'll give it to him. So I threw a bad ball. Well, I should have played it. So he didn't have to jump, which, you know, he shouldn't have jumped. He should just kept on running. <laughs> oh, I do a bad ball. That's what it all comes down to. Well, let me chime in, okay? I'm going to chime in. Put the camera on me now. Okay. <laughs> now, I've struggled this year playing with eight different quarterbacks in the first five minutes, okay? Now, I've lived by the code that i got to do whatever I can do with every ball. Now, i got Nate here who actually puts the ball where I need to, and that's just... I'm not used to that, so ball's coming here and I'm jumping. You know, the ball's right here in my chest and I'm jumping and it I'm sliding. It was a great ball. You <laughs> You're right. Jump. It was my ball. Tell me about this guy. We can put you on the spot now. Spot now. You say Julian who? Now they have Nate, Nate here. What? <laughs> hey, he's doing what's best. He keeps, a, keep, keeps something in his mouth. A whistle. <laughs> He's doing great. I'm good. <laughs> As a coach, do you, do you like playing? A team back to back like this? No. As a player, I hate it too. But I mean, especially playing a regular season and now coming into the playoffs. But it's actually it's actually not not bad for me as far as uh, getting ready for them because you know we know what they're gonna do. They actually really don't know what we're gonna do because we just called a simple game and you know we still got some plays left up. You see the tight end play coming, nobody saw that all year. But, so we got some some plays left in the chamber just waiting to shoot the gun off. Are you gonna save some of those for the championship? Oh yeah. You gotta save some of those. We're gonna we're gonna add a, a couple of wrinkles um, this week just because of what you know they saw we saw in the second half what they're trying to do and uh, we did a really good job a little bit within the third quarter uh, fixing that and adjusting to it as a receiver core so now the guys know exactly what kind of defense we're going to face and who we're going to face. So uh, you saw that they tried to move around their DBs around a lot because we started going after one and now switched to another one. So we're going to still make them uh, do what we want. So I'm uh, really excited about Saturday. I think their offense is good enough to make enough adjustments to, I guess, beat your defense as well as you guys have been playing? No. No, I don't. I, I, I don't say that, you know, trying yeah. to cock your own like that, but. I don't think uh, with a young quarterback that they have who really doesn't have experience in this game, uh, when you have a veteran, um, I say, defensive backcourt and a D lineman and Coach Snipes knowledge of the game, it's going to be hard for him to make those adjustments because we can make adjustments at the same time. He's going to have to read that defense. We go man to man, it's easy to really read that. But once you show that zone in the arena game, if you can't read it quick and you take your eyes down for two seconds like he started to do in the second half, those sacks start to come. So. Uh, we want him to keep trying to read it, and uh, we know he can't.